Now we're going to take a look at how to apply some NC toolpath to this part. So we're going to build a prototype uh, based on the part design. And just to recall, the, the part design, um, one half of the part was uh, produced with X design. The other half of the part was produced with, um, with SolidWorks. So uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at this one. I've already done some toolpathing on it. Uh, just some really basic stuff. Um, so I, I'm searching with this uh, key uh, search called NCC. So that'll give you my toolpath. And we'll take a look at it first here, just in Inovia uh, with the product explorer. And it's just kind of draw attention back to the single source of truth concept, um, where really uh, the 3D experience is managing all of our information. So it's managing the X design component the SOLIDWORKS component, and you know those are together in an assembly, in context, in an assembly. And now I'm creating these other assemblies that are manufacturing assemblies. Uh, so this manufacturing assembly is representing a toolpath or a, a machine program. So we're starting to see things in here like uh, the machining programs. Um, we're starting to see a machining assembly, which consists of the part that we're going to machine and also the uh, the rough stock of, of the component. So like the uh, the block that we'd be machining the part from. And then we have some, some various tools and a machine representation here. Uh, so all that information is being stored in Inovia. And um, you know now we're going to go to to this other interface here uh, where we're going to do our programming. And uh, I'm just going to drag and drop that over here. Of course, I can search for it here on the interface as well, but um, it's just convenient to be able to drag and drop. All right, so now we have our, our part, which is, again, it's from X-Design, and uh, we're going to look at look at some of the machining processes here. <clears throat> so I can see um, in the menu here that I have two different uh, machining operations, and those are based on uh, different tools that I'm using. So one is a a roughing and the other one is a, like a z-level finish and they're using different tools i have those tools um, set up here so this tool zero is a look it's a 10 millimeter diameter tool and this first tool is like a one millimeter diameter tool uh, i chose that one just so i could get down in between these grooves here they're quite small so i'm just going to do a, a a simple replay just so you can get an idea of what that might look like. So we can see there's multiple levels and you know it's going around the bosses and staying inside the component. And again, this is just kind of demonstrate the NC capability. There's a, a bunch of different features in here that we could be exploring, but um, again, I'll just keep it pretty simple. <clears throat> and then of course I mentioned there is a, a Z level. It's doing some recalculation here based on some uh, part changes that were done. Uh, but everything is, um, you know, if you follow these menus, they're kind of left to right and top to bottom. Um, so there's some other menus that we'll see. Maybe we get into some of the programming side, which, again, everything kind of steps you through, you know, fill out the panels left to right and then top to bottom, and you're usually in pretty good shape. Uh, so now we can see what the, the replay of that toolpath would look like. So you can see it's going down in between the grooves there. It's going in the center of the boss and it's cleaning up all around the edges. So again, this is um, just to kind of show what, what that might look like. And <clears throat> then ultimately, you know, we want to be able to produce uh, some G-code that we can send to a machine. And I'm selecting this icon here, which is generate G-code interactively. And again, um, the thing is you want to kind of go from left to right, top to bottom. Um, and so in this panel, I've got everything filled out uh, the way I would like it by machine operation. And you know, we could look at tool motion settings, whatever is appropriate for your circumstance, formatting, and then ultimately we can pick a machine. So uh, I found if it's, if it's a really a basic three axis machine, um, this Funuk option, Funuk 30, seems to be pretty good. So if you're a maker, hobbyist, trying to produce some G-code at home for your three-axis machine, um, you might might try that one first, but you can see there are a lot of options here. I'll do an execute. 
Um, we can fill in some details here if we want to. Uh, I'm just going to select the defaults as they are. Okay, let's take a look at it. I'll look at it in uh, in Word. All right, so if you're used to machining and looking at uh, G codes, this should all start to look pretty familiar. And uh, that's that would get us going. So we could take that program and start running it on our, our maker machines.